because everything happening with us in this life is for something. Mm -hmm. Yes. Unfortunately, we are still sleeping, like many spiritual masters say that we are sleeping. By the way, who uh, learn uh, Gurdjieff or some enlightened masters? Rise up, hands. I just Gurdjieff or some you know, spiritual knowledge about consciousness, awakeness. Okay, mm -hmm. very good, very good. Uh -huh. So I hope that more, most of you understand what I mean that we are still sleeping. And uh, that means if we are still sleeping inside us, everything just happened with us. We are like flowing in some a wave of energy in some conditions, in some circumstances. Everything just happening with us. And uh, at this level, what we can do, we can try to observe what is going with us, what's happening with us, try to observe, observe our reactions, try to observe our level of development, and try to do something better, best, uh, more with us. And <clears throat> why feminine energy? Why people say that uh, feminine energy is the healing energy? It's really so. It's really healing energy. I have this special course about the difference uh, in the spiritual path of women and men. And I'll explain a lot about the difference. That um, women power is born, was, was born to create something beautiful, something uh, alive, some harmony in the world. And uh, due to the fact that Today we have the patriarchat. It means that uh, more uh, masculine energy is controlling the world, and unfortunately, the same energy is uh, manifesting, expressing through the feminine bodies too. Uh, all of you has both parts, masculine and feminine inside. Yes? Do you feel it? Who does feel it? No. Okay. Very good. <laughs> Yes, and ah, by the way, today was a very funny situation. Mm, I'm enough like a uh, masculine woman, me inside. <laughs> I'm a, like, the, sometimes I'm strict, direct, like to control it, everything. But uh, in my life, I had several situations which, um, which forced me, which forced, forced, me, to forced me to change. Yes. And it happened uh, during my career building. When I built a career, I was very focused on this, to be independent financially, to be uh, power, to achieve everything. During this my uh, path, I achieved from one side very good results in financial term, in business and so on. But at the same time, I have lost a lot. I mean, my relationship and my family health. Because it was like protest for me inside that I do not allow my feminine nature to be with me. And for a while, it was a period that I was too much connected with my masculine part. And uh, after this, uh, it was a choice. Or oh, I will go to the hospital and uh, take the surgery, take the surgery, surgery. surgery, or I will start to change my life and to understand what's going on with me. And then I met my spiritual master and it was a really long way of my changing, of my transformation. And now my main mission when I'm traveling all over the world, many countries, my main mission to help to um, keep, to find this balance between our power, our inner power, like masculine power, which is able to achieve all our purposes, to be stable, to be successful, to be like strong. And at the same time, to keep the balance with our feminine part, with our feminine essence. Otherwise, if we do not achieve this, we will suffer. You understand? Yes, I see that you understand. Yes, why? Well, because suffer, because uh, except being successful, except career, except money, we also need family happiness. We need the partner, we need the good family, we want to be happy with our children, and all that people mean family and happiness. I know that in the United States, women are more free and more independent from these programs in our mind in comparison with our other Latin American countries, for example. But anyway, um, inside us, we believe that we deserve to be happy as a woman. Do you agree with me? And for this, we need really to learn more about our feminine power, about our feminine energy. And today, we will do it. 
I hope that we'll have enough time for part lesson two. But before I need to explain you a little bit. Uh, when we speak about healing feminine energy, when we speak about feminine power, it means that there are several powers inside us. It's not just one power or one energy. It's different. From one side, what do we have? What power, what energy we have? Like a woman, who knows? Sexuality. Yes, sexuality. Okay. Yes. <laughs> okay, one. Creativity. Two. Mothering. Hmm? Mother. Mother. Nature. Nature? Nature? Nature. What is it? Like a mother, mother, mm -hmm. nature, mm -hmm. nature, mm -hmm. nature, 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 Sort of, right? Pure sort of fashion, right? Uh -huh. Kind of. Uh, it's, it's, it's like, like a fire. string. Fire. It's like a yeah, string. It's intense. It's intense. like a driven, intense. Like a warrior. Yeah. Yeah. Like Joan of Arc. Yes. Like woman power, lash, I can do anything. Uh huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Something else? <laughs> <laughs> Something else? You're asking what we carry as women? Uh, the energies we I carry? just want to understand uh, what do you think about what I mean, I mean, energy, I mean, power, that's all. Awesomeness? Okay, intuitive. Yeah. Yes. This is like quality, like energies which women bring into this world. Yes? Mm -hmm. Uh, but if we look more closer inside ourselves, we can um, more consciously see all these qualities accumulated in three main energy centers of a woman. We can also synchronize with the meaning of chakras. Who knows chakras? Okay, this language I will use in this way. <laughs> because I can use different languages as my master explained me different ways of communication with the students. I can use the language of shamanism, I can use the language of astrology, I can use the language of uh, yoga, energies, any. So, but if the audience is more oriented to energies and chakras, we can speak through this, okay? Because it's more easier uh, vocabulary. Mm -hmm. Yes? Okay, uh, there are three main chakras, three main centers in the feminine essence. And uh, if we develop this, if we realize this, awaken this, it helps us to be like on the top. In this way, we're able to control and to manage our health, feminine health, first. The second, in this way, we are able to build, to manage our relationship. Second. Third, in this way, we are like a magician. We are able to control, to manage, to build our business, create money, energy, and so on. These <coughs> are three main centers, three are main chapters. First one, as you told already, is the sexual energy. The sexual energy exists in this down belly is the Pakistan chakra. Yes? Everybody understand what is it? You can put your palms and feel, make inhale with your down belly, exhale, the womb, the uterus. All this sexual apparatus. In, in the second chakra? <laughs> second chakra, yes. So, Histana. This chakra accumulates the sexual energy, the sexual power. And this uh, it's like perpetuum mobile. Do you understand? Perpetuum mobile? It's the special mechanism which um, creates the energy 24 hours per day without any stop. Mm. 24 hours. We have something inside <laughs> us which generate energy. Can you imagine? It's uh, amazing. Only the God who created such a mechanism <laughs> inside us. So anyway, we have it inside, and it's a task, one of the tasks for us to understand what is it. Many women, they believe that these centers are connected only with two main ideas, or to get, uh, to 
have a child, so to give the birth to a child, or to have the sexual relationship with a man. Just two options, no more. <laughs> but in reality, if you do spiritual practice, if you have some experience with uh, working with feminine energy, you understand that this Sudhisthana chakra has much more different destinations, except these two. It's very primitive, but it's also very important. Because here, um, also we have the feminine health. If the energy in womb, if the energy in utero is dirty, because of different past contacts, for example, or bad pollution, or many, many stress, and so on, it creates a big mess, big problem to our family health. Anyway, it's the first level of our energy. The second level of our family power. It's okay, I'm not too quick speaking. Mm -hmm. You understand? It's mm -hmm. <coughs> not just yeah. me, and I will speak more slowly. You're doing great. Your English is fabulous. Thank you very much. I'm just hurrying a little bit because we have not a lot of time and I want to give as much as possible. So the second level, it's our Anahata chakra, it's heart. Yes? Uh, love. The same that you told that the feeling is a mother. Uh, mm, coming back. Here, if we look at 100% of women, here mostly like 90% of women are able to express the energy. And this energy uh, influence at our relationship at the first time. It's like impulse which activate the interest of a man to a woman. Okay? And almost 90% are able to express this energy, even if she doesn't have the physical organ like womb, like Utra, like Ishin Kir. Utra and Ishin Kir. The ovaries. Ovaries. Ovaries, yes. Even if she doesn't have a physical organ, it doesn't mean that she is not able. If, for, not now, but later I can speak about mm -hmm. this. If this mm -hmm. So, and at this level, almost all women are able to do this, to attract men, because it's our nature, our physical nature. Because nature wants to, nature has their own her own mission, and she wants to prolong her to the body of the woman. At this level, not so many women are able to express the energy. This is the energy of being like, energy of protection, energy of support, energy of a friend, and it's more difficult to express energy at level of Mahatma Chakra, energy of love. And at each level, there are different practices in the art of being a woman, how to develop, how to open this chakra. Uh, sometimes the energy here blocked because woman had before some mm, not positive experience and her soul blocked herself from new relationship. In this way, when the woman has the block of Anahata Chakra, it means that she does not allow some new relationship come to her life. She's like closing herself from this new relationship because she doesn't trust, she's afraid, she uh, got pain in her soul. In this way, it's very important to do purification, to release from this pain. Otherwise, your aura just closed. And even the God already prepared some good, good partner for you, your doors are closed. Also, this Anahata Chakra connected with blind system and heart system. If it is broken, if it is uh, closed, some blockages. Uh, usually, women have uh, asthma. Asthma? Mm -hmm. oh. Asthma, problems with lungs, uh, and the feeling that she does not have the happiness inside. Mm -hmm. It's very, very dangerous for her because this is the way to depression and distress. The soul needs to receive um, subtle um, spiritual energy. In this way, soul will be happy. Unfortunately, not a lot of uh, conditions in the society allow us to receive this spiritual energy. That's why we have spiritual practice. The third level of feminine power, third level of feminine energy, connected with our throat chakra, you know, you should have. 
uh, this chakra of creativity. But more important, this is connected with our individuality. And endocrine system, hormone system, hormone endocrine system. This chakra also very, very important. Maybe it's not so much important in relationship, but anyway, if you open this energy, this chakra, you become like a muse. You can inspire, but if you can really inspire a man, or you can inspire your uh, colleagues, or you can inspire your children, you can achieve anything you want in life. And the big problem is when this energy uh, chakra is blocked, woman could have a thyroid and uh, almost 50 percent ah by the way by statistic women has more frequently surgeries with thyroid you know mm -hmm. yes mm -hmm. compared in comparison with men why <laughs> because she not express Why? herself. Because uh, she not express herself, woman. Sometimes, a uh, woman, uh, mm, like to say, she does not allow herself to express herself. Sometimes she afraid to say what she really wants, what she really needs. For men, it's easier to do, and for women, it's more difficult because she's too much dependent by somebody's opinion. And uh, in this way, she blocks her individuality. Almost 85% of women who, who come to my consultations and diagnostic, they have a question, what is my individuality? What is my predestination? Also, I had this question many years ago. <laughs> but unfortunately, in one moment, I understood that the society cannot open the secret to me because the society is not interested in this to open the secret for me. The society is interested only to use my energy, use my body, <laughs> use my um, purposes to create the society bigger and bigger. But the society is not, so don't tell anybody okay, about <laughs> Because uh, this knowledge make women uh, more freedom. Nobody needs freedom people, sorry. Also, I didn't tell it. Okay. <laughs> anyway, if we do not pay attention on the Vishuddha Chakra and do not work, uh, do not uh, do spiritual practices to activate the energy, to purify the energy here, we will have problem with thyroid. We will have problem with uh, blocked individuality and the feeling that we do not realize our mission in this life. Like the feeling, the feeling like you live, you do something, but it's like you are living with somebody's destiny, somebody's life, but not your own life, and it's awful. This is prism inside ourselves. Um, in, as I know, American culture has some beliefs that uh, here more freedom to manifest, to express your energy, your talents, but the real freedom. I hope that you will hear me. The real freedom is inside us, not outside. And if we achieve this real freedom inside, in this way we will be really free and uh, powerful. Because power is in independence, but not from outside, but from inside reactions. It was a small lecture. <laughs> okay, questions? So we have I should understand that, mm -hmm. yes, that we have three centers, sexual energy, sexual power, anahata chakra, love, and uh, creativity, our individuality. These three chakras create their flower of feminine essence. Uh, sexual chakra is like the roots of the flower. If the flower doesn't have the roots, what will happen? These roots also connected with our feminine lineage our karma, feminine karma. Have you heard about this? Mm -hmm. yes. Tomorrow we will have special seminar. It will be like three hours at night, I guess. Uh, especially for cleaning feminine karma. 
because very often the roots are blocked or does not have enough energy to be healthy. And this is connected with our roots, like ancestors' roots, uh, family roots. So if uh, we clean, we empower, we take care about these roots, about our sexual energy, it's also art how to accumulate energy, not just lose it for not good partners and so on. Uh, the roots brings the power to our steam and to the flower which is blossoming. The flower, it's our love, it's Anahata Chakra. But, uh, do you know that some flowers have some smell, and some flowers does not have smell. Do you want to notice this? The smell, this aroma. Ah, yes, this is our individuality. This is our Vishuddha Chakra. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, for example, you can see a beautiful flower, but it doesn't smell. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but sometimes you can smell the flower. So nice. And you look around. Oh, what is it? Where is it? You do not see anything. But finally, you observe that. Oh, it's so small, so weird flower. I didn't see it. That's so different. Uh, it means that each of us has different potential of feminine power. And uh, the best option to come to individual feminine diagnostics to see which chakras of feminine power are more realized in your destiny, in your life, and which chakras, which centers are more like blocked or need some help and healing. Okay, now I hope we have music. Can I ask a question? Yes. Are, are chakras more defined based upon astrological connection? Astrology, it's our description of our destiny, of our life, of this life, yes? And does that affect each of the chakras? Some, yes, but not directly. Так, мне нужно русский перевод сейчас. Можно помочь на русском перевести кому-нибудь? У вас была такая игрушка в детстве, выглядит она так, палочка, а на ней колечки. Uh, it's uh, like a toy, so a small ball on, on like on a needle, I believe. So you like. Diana was asking if you ever had a toy when you were a young a kid. It's a pole, and then you put a little uh, wooden circles, like one on top of another. One circle, yeah, yeah, yeah. second circle. Yes. Okay. If we look through this toy from top to down. We see like different circles, one by each other. Mm -hmm. This is the person, the human being. And each this circle is some system of knowledge about the person. One circle is astrology level. Here we can see a lot of through um, astrology, through horoscope. What qualities you have? What predestination you have? What uh, lessons, karmical lessons you have? Yes? Mm -hmm. uh, another circle, it's our chakra system. It is our nature, which is given to us from the nature. There are different systems. System of two, system of three, system of four. Four is the system of four elements. System of five, system of seven, seven chakras. System of nine, it's nine planets. Because each of us has also some uh, connection with some planet. System of twelve, twelve is horoscope. You see, this is the toy which gives us, us the full, the complete um, understanding of a human being structure. It's a big knowledge. And, big so, and our past is included in that as well? Yes. Okay. Now we will have practice. And uh, look, to everybody will start to move a little bit. A little bit dancing. Yeah? You can dance on your Just a little bit, as you can. Uh, the Number one, you look at your partner, for example, music. And we start to dance somehow. You can touch hands, not touch hands, that's that. You are dancing. You observe, I'm number one, you observe it here, and see uh, what part of the body moves less. For example, I see, that's, that's. <laughs> I see that, for example, I want to switch on a little bit energy in her shoulders. And I tell her shoulders. And her task, to continue dancing in her way, but also to start to move with her shoulders. Mm -hmm. Okay? 
So we do a dance. Then you are the other side. Mm, you but you do not stop. I also dance somehow. And then it's mm, <coughs> great. What the hell can I do? Mm, you're like God, you're a creator. For example, I have a head. I tell you, head. Yes. Oh, I like. You help each other to activate the energy. Thank you very much. <laughs> so you help each other. It's like exercise, little exercise to awaken our physical body before we start to do. The first person are dancing or the first person tell what to do? Also dancing. Everybody oh, okay. dancing, yes, because you help each other to dance, to start move your body, but your task, you tell her. Uh, one part of the body, second part, uh -huh. then I tell stop, and you will change. The same you will do to the opposite direction. Mm -hmm. Very simple. Understand? Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Let's start. <laughs> uh, why you stop? Why are you speaking? It's, it's exercise for dancing, not for speaking. <laughs> 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 Thank <laughs> you.